Okay guys, once you have finished your your design and you're getting it ready to 3D print, you're going to go to File, then you go to Export, then you go over here to CAD Format. And the first thing you're going to do is change this to an STL file, which is right here, because that's what the 3D printer is going to read. Then from there you go to Options, and you want to make sure this is set for millimeters. And then you hit OK. Then you decide where you want to save it. I'm just going to save this to my desktop for right now. And I'll change this right here. And then I'm going to hit Save. And so now it's created a, uh, a file that the 3D printer is going to be able to read. It's an STL file. And so next what you're going to do, you're going to go into the MakerBot software. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new project. So you can go File, New Project. And you're going to pull it up right here. It might take a second. And you're going to click Add Model. When you add the model, you're going to look for the one you saved on my desktop. There it is. Click there is here's the piece I just brought in. The first thing you're going to probably want to do is go over to here and you can you can move it around the build plate. You can change the size of it if you need to. You can also change the orientation of how you want it to actually build when it 3D prints. And so you can change you can do it this way or you could do it this way. Now you can also make sure you can place it on the actual build plate to make sure it's sitting on their level. This one will be a little bit harder to print just because it's going to need a lot more support material this way. Now I'll go through and show you some of the settings once this is all set up. This one here allows you to rotate the piece and move it around the screen. This one here gives you the information to make sure that the uh, units of measurement is correct. So you want to use millimeters like we talked about earlier. And you always have to click on the piece. You see this little outline, this blue outline? That shows that you're actually working with this piece. Um, arrange, you can arrange it so it's right on the build plate. Puts it right in the center. As well as also, you can also change the way it sits on the actual build plate. And, I want to and this allows you to change the scale of it. And last but not least, but once you're ready to 3D print it, then you can create a preview. Okay, so once it actually creates the preview, it generates a toolpath. And it's basically uh, with the new software here, it's going to actually show you how it builds it. And it's going to show you the model material, it's going to show you the support material, and the layer. And the layers are going to be right here. It's going to show how many layers it takes. So you could basically do it manually. And so you can go all the way down like this. And so you can kind of get an understanding of how it's actually going to go through. And build the piece. One of the new features in this in this you can also go over here and do play animation and it's going to show you the toolpath. So right now it's showing you all the different steps the machine is taking and all the movements it has to make to create this piece. One of the nice features about the software as well is it shows you how long it's going to take. This one's going to take 6 hours and 49 minutes, as well as also how much material you're going to use. It estimates it. Once you are done and everything looks exactly how you want it, then what you're going to do is you're going to export the piece. And you're always going to export it to a thumb drive. 
And when you export to the thumb drive, then you bring it over and you put it in the 3D printer and you're ready to roll.